Hello, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury 333 with another exhibition match and my old intro, which I meant to say something about Nanolids at Dawn, but I'm still not sure about that title. I don't know. Welcome to Nanolids at Dawn, everyone. Zero K stream. Anyway, exhibition match. First one's going to be Anarchid versus Silent Shadow on Desert Cliffs, which might be familiar to those of you who have watched recently, but I haven't shown it all that much. So Desert Cliffs is a map which is, as you can see, rather small. It is not a map that has a lot of resources, as one can also pretty clearly see. Both sides get about... Well, they each get about 8 metal extractors, but at the same time, plus 2 and 5 rather than plus 2, so the overall effect... It's kind of like if you had about 10 to 12 or so metal... well, 10-ish metal extractors on most maps, which is a relatively healthy amount. But yeah, this map, typically what ends up happening is you players will generally pick one of the sides to focus on, usually the one over to the southwest or northeast, because it's a bit smaller, a bit easier to defend. And then from there, one of the players, if not both, will try to go for the center. Usually whoever takes the center ends up at a fairly large advantage, but at the same time, it is a large enough map that units can tend to get around that, even if the center position is well held. But we'll see how this goes, so... Right out of the gate, Anarchy going for Shieldbot Factory, and Silent Shadow going for the Cloakybot Factory, which is a pretty healthy matchup. At least, has been. I'm not entirely sure what it's like nowadays. There have been a lot... Oh, there have been some changes, but I don't think much has changed much. So, Shieldbot versus Cloakie should be a relatively healthy matchup. Generally, it starts out with Bandits and Glaives being somewhat even. Bandits having a slight advantage, and then shifts into either a Rogue-based Shield play, which allows for more mobility or the shield ball based shield play, which doesn't allow for the mobility. Usually shield ball gets countered by snipers. Rogue based play is a little bit harder to counter. Rockas don't have quite the range. Glaives can deal with it without too much issue, but at the same time, Rogue with support can usually be pretty scary. So, early scouting going on, nothing too notable. I mean, right now, neither the players really spotted each other yet. Down the shadow, actually, yeah, they do see that dirtbag. Are revealing that they are going for Cloakie Buff Factory, but at the same time, they aren't revealing quite how many glaives they went for. I don't think Anarchid saw this one glaive back here, and I don't think they saw the glaive over here either, so I, as far as Anarchid knows, I'm pretty sure they only know Silent Shadow has the three, but at the same time, no, Anarchid has no radar. Silent Shadow does have radar, does know about this dirtbag over here, but hasn't actually tipped their hand about the number of glaives they really have. Now, Anarchid... That's going to be tricky, because the thing with Anarchid right now is... I'm sure they know there are more Glaives. They couldn't not know there are more Glaives. But those Glaives know where the expansions aren't. Like, Anarchid hasn't expanded outside of their main base. This is it. True for Silent Shadow as well, though. Silent Shadow will be getting their economy up a little bit faster. But they also haven't harassed yet. They aren't particularly confident, and rightly so. Anarchid's pretty well defended at the moment. They aren't particularly confident they can take out the main base. And like I said, no, they can't. Though with the five glaives coming in, they should be able to take out one of the metal extractors. Though a quick outlaw coming in will put a stop to that. Anarchid, I wonder if they know where Silent Shadows can come in from, because it looks like, given the distribution of forces, Silent Shadow is likely to come from both sides at once. Now we do see small shield ball in right now. Oh, wow, interesting. I don't usually see this. Usually you don't get the shield ball play until thugs come out, but no, convicts being used as outlaw support just to deal with those glaives, which... They won't really have to. That's not where most of the Glaives are going. Silent Shadow is sending a few into the center, which will be taken care of pretty quickly. They don't even need the Outlaw for that. But with the Outlaw out of position... Wait, what is Silent Shadow doing? They're going to the center? What? Ah, okay, there we go. I'm thinking that can't be right. Fortunately, did not notice that in time. Lotus... One, this Lotus will be down. This Lotus is okay. The Lotus, oh, Lotus over here, though, are doing a great job making value. I mean, that was three Glaives for... Well, actually, five glaives for one lotus. Great value for Anarchid. Right now, they are doing very well in this. This one glaive, the best thing you can do, get close to the metal extractor. Ah, as soon as they get close to the metal extractor, then when the roach blows up, it blows up the metal extractor. Sadly, was not able to do that. So one metal extractor and one lotus for six glaives. That's an advantage for Anarchid right there. Anarchid has the center as well. This is going very quickly for Anarchid. And Silent Shadow really moving in their forces one at a time. They are not microing and paying for it. Those three glaives were really didn't have to be any. So at least at this point, Silent Shadow knows where Anarchid is, but that's not all that helpful. 
On the other hand, Silent Shadow does have a particularly strong economy. The 18 metal, 19 energy compared to, well, plus 18, plus 19 compared to plus 11, plus 17. Or, well, that'll soon change. But still, they do have a slight economic advantage. Anarchy, on the other hand, is... They just... They have the military. They have the counter. They do have to deal with Silent Shadow's commander coming in here, which is actually going to be a small problem. <laughs> wow, the Lotus doing quite a good job here. There's light harassment going in, but really that's... If more of the fact that Silent Shadow was already ahead economically, I'd say it's not a big concern. But Anarchid has not yet rebuilt over here. They haven't actually built up over the sides at all. They have not been expanding much except for the center. They are very focused on the center. That's actually kind of risky, but at the same time, so is Silent Shadow's commander being so far in front. And it is going to pay for this. Silent Shadow's commander is, if it keeps going forward, going to die. It cannot win this fight. Despite the HP differences, the Outlaw and the Lotus, no, it's dead. Silent Shadow's commander goes down... And there goes the economy advantage. Gone in a fell swoop. Anarchid now has the reclaim on top of the fact that the static economy has gone down. So Silent Shadow doing very poorly right now. Anarchid not even going to lose this. These glaives going to go down to the Lotus. The zoo's trying to do what it can, but it's going to get slowed down so much. It's going to be completely worthless very shortly. These glaives also running with their deaths. I am very surprised to see this play. I expected it would be a bit more of an even game, but no. Silent Shadow is just panicking and running to their deaths. They might, they might now get rid of the Outlaw, I'm not totally sure. No, not even going to do that. <sighs> Granted, with a reclaim, that was unlikely, but no, that is not going to happen. Anarchid right now is basically poised to win. I mean, despite the fact that they have no expansions much around the side, they are poised to win. If for no other reason than they had, their Lotus is right there. If the Lotus is right there, the Outlaw slows things down. That slow effect is huge. You cannot underestimate the effect of slow. And Anarchid's commander as well, that is... Well, that's heavy machine gun. But really, it was the outlaw. That was the big difference maker. Like, the glaive support couldn't do anything. The commander got slowed down to, the cr to a point that it couldn't actually deal much damage. And the Lotuses pushed extra damage on top of that. And a Minesweeper Glaive does its job. Well, at least, no, that ramp is probably safe. I mean, Silent Shadow at least being somewhat wise about this. Pushing glaives forward one at a time just to bait out Roach Explosions. Are these roaches on auto fire? No, no, these roaches are on whole fire. That's weird. Oh, I see. They're not being they're not being baited out. They're being shot at. That explains it. That makes sense. Actually, there was a glaive and a roach right next to each other for a little while before the glaive noticed, hey, there's a roach there. Let's blow it up. And kill ourselves in the process. For red team! Boom! Something like that. That is one thing Zero K does lack. Well, okay, it doesn't really lack it because, I mean, you have this, but, you know. There's not a huge amount of personality to the unit sounds, it's just, you know, sound. And then. And there are sounds, acknowledgement sounds and click sounds, but it's not quite the same, you know? Granted, at that point, you probably wouldn't hear this glorious suicide sound that you wouldn't hear in the case of. The, oh, I see. Try, is it trying to push the outlaw into a pit? That's a really clever idea. Unfortunately, the outlaw moved to... But that's your unit, Anarchid. What the heck? Anarchid, you can control your own units. A novel concept, I know. Anyway, nice mind sweeping by Silent Shadow. I mean, they're they're getting wise to this. This is not likely to turn around too quickly, but still, they're getting wise to it. Their economy has not quite stabilized up at the level of Anarchid, but it's better. And nicely got around that Stardust. Unfortunately, these Lotuses are not going to go down at all. This attack is going to to fail. This, this is it. This, these glaives are dead. Trying to get rid of the convicts, not unfortunately able to do so, or get rid of the lotuses, just I'm not even sure what to focus on. Look, the glaives weren't even targeting anything. The size might be able to do something. If they go for the lotus, I mean, that... This stardust here, that makes it dangerous, and is... Is it going to be the first target? No, it's not. But yeah, these size, they look to be only for scouting at this point, and no, they can't just be. They've they're going to be used for attack, and there they go. Silent Shadow attacking with one, which actually works pretty well. Well, sort of well. That was not the best placed roach, but at the same time, hey, this factory is pretty vulnerable. All Anarchid has right now to deal with this is a roach. Now back up at Silent Shadow's base, we do... There we go. Now the Outlaw's underground. Now that's working. And Lotus Crawl on top of the scythe. The scythe is pretty much dead right now. Yeah, with the late, the Lotus here on top of the slow, it's... Uh, might, might work. It's not likely to. 
And the... Well, the crawl's being pushed away, but this scythe... Trying to do what it can, but the outlaw causing too many issues. Scythe simply can't attack fast enough. The best it can do is get this factory down low enough that... No, the roach is not close enough. And Kid was wise to that. Actually, the best thing it probably could have done is march right in here. Like, t in this tiny little hole here. The roach would have to destroy the factory. Unfortunately, Silent Shadow didn't do that, so... Anarchid didn't quite harm themselves that much. Still, at this point, another scythe would actually probably do the trick to get rid of the factory. Granted, Anarchid's army is so big right now, it, well, at least, has a lot of value. Switched over to Gunship Plan 2, which will be nice, but... They do have the... Oh, they have any outlaws? 750 worth of outlaws. Their commander is the majority of their metal, actually, from the look... No. The plurality of their metal, not the majority of their metal. But it is the single largest, well, single largest point of metal. Like the single most valuable thing, but it's not more valuable than half. It is, however, also getting not really threatened. I mean, Silent Shadow, you kind of need about six or so glaives against a relatively low level commander and against, well, not a level two commander, but against a commander with a heavy machine gun, that's a riot weapon. Like, you would need a dozen glaives at least probably to kill it. Does Silent Shadow not realize there's an outlaw in the middle of a pit in their base? Also, I didn't realize that there's actually water in this map. Apparently so. Apparently this map actually has water on it. And that is... Game? Yeah, Silent Shadow, there, there's a... There's a function for that. You know, you can just F10 resign. That That's an option. Anyway, that was underwhelming. Honestly, I was hoping that would be a bit more even game. But apparently it was not. So yeah, lessons learned. Don't rush in single file into Lotuses. Although Silent Shadow was... They were approaching the Roaches pretty well near the end, but still. Yeah, don't go for Lotuses too recklessly and... Hmm. Respect Outlaws. Yeah. Really, respect the outlaw. I mean, that con, that convict shield ball outlaw thing, I have not really seen. Normally, it's thug and outlaw. Con, uh, convict outlaw is unusual. Anyhow. No Alright, sorry about that. If you guys were watching on Hitbox, it probably crapped out and stopped actually recording anything. Should be okay on... Yeah, my computer is just doing something really weird. I don't know if my hard drive is dying or what. But it's just being really slow right now. Anyway, Shadow One Sun versus... Silent Shadow will be the next map. Stay tuned for that. We'll be up in just a moment. Seriously, 